Welcome back, Canaanites, for a quick Halo Wars 2 update. Some important info dropped these last couple days, so let's talk. First, announced today were the dates for the Halo War 2 Blitz Beta. Available for both Windows 10 and Xbox One this time around, this second beta will focus on the new Blitz mode, wherein players assemble decks of cards, then summon forces in a match with those cards. During the beta, players will have access to all the launch leaders, Cutter, Anders, Isabel, Atriox, Decimus, and Let, and the potential to earn any of the cards available at launch. Cards unlocked during the beta obviously won't carry over, but you can earn two card packs for the final game. One for just running the beta, and another for completing your first match. Matches will be set on the map Proving Grounds and can be played 1v1, 2v2, and 3v3. The beta will run from January 20th through the 30th and is available to everyone, no pre-order required. Check out Halo Waypoint for the official press release, link in the description. The second bit of news has me rather torn. On the one hand, it's awesome news, on the other, I'm kind of pissed it took so long to be announced. On Tuesday, 343 revealed a partnership with THQ Nordic to create and distribute physical versions of the regular and ultimate editions of Halo Wars 2 for Windows 10 PCs. Both editions come with four discs, and the game will require a one-time installation. This will also be a Play Anywhere version of the game, meaning that once you install it on your PC, you can play it on Xbox One as well, a luxury not afforded to anyone getting the physical edition on Xbox One, at least as far as I know. The Ultimate Edition will include all the regular bonuses, Season Pass, Halo Wars, Definitive Edition, etc, etc. So yeah, kind of awesome, but also kind of what the fuck. A lot of people already pre-ordered their editions, and as I noted, it's kind of BS that Xbox players getting a physical edition won't get the Play Anywhere access. I have a very strong feeling that this was a last-minute decision, perhaps a response to fan demand for a limited or collector's edition. Whatever the case, this does not reflect well on 343. We had the incident with Mythos releasing a month late in the UK or a month early in the US, depending on the story, the botched release of Tales from Slipspace, the under-the-radar release of Halo Smoke and Shadow, the absolute disaster that was code distribution for the Halo Wars Definitive Edition, and now this. Halo Wars 2 better deliver at release, seriously. Anyway, as a final bit of interesting info, it looks like there may be an ARG in the works for Halo Wars 2. A while ago, a verified Twitter account for the AI Isabel was discovered, and yes, it is legit. The account hasn't done much other than say hi, favorite a couple tweets, and tweet a day, January 17th, but Halo fans would be smart to follow her on Twitter. No idea what's in store, but something is certainly coming. And that does it for this update. More pre-Halo Wars 2 content is in the works, so look forward to that. Until then, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.